Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, I'm welcome to be with the purpose. So, if you hear some crinkling, that's person eating grapes. Anyways, so today I am here with an all drugstore affordable fall makeup tutorial. You gotta find my words. So yeah, so the first thing, all these products you can find at the drugstore. They're not affordable products like ColourPop, excuse me. ColourPop Morphe, these are all drugstore products. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go in with is this Wet n Wild Brow Pencil, and we're just gonna go ahead and fill in our brows with that. I have like a pimple like right under my lower lash line. And also a big juicy one right here coming in that's under the skin. that's done we are gonna go ahead always cut these way too long okay we are gonna go ahead and apply some tape I use just regular like transparent tape you can find this at any drugstore or you can find the elf eye tapes that are actually made for that area of the skin and they're a lot more sensitive that run for about two to three bucks a pack you can always get those two at the drugstore so for concealer and eye primer, I'm just gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and I have mine in the shade 355 Vanilla. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. sponge and blend that out. Wow. I always forget how little of this concealer that you need. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to take is my Milani, my Milani Bold Obsessions palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Bear in Mind, and we're just going to go ahead and set all of that down, and I'm taking a Luxie Large Eye Blending Brush, I'm just taking that shade Bear in Mind, and we're going to apply this all over the lid. And this is actually going to be like an all matte makeup tutorial, so like the eye is going to be all matte. The face is gonna be all matte, with the exception of a little bit of highlight. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the same brush and the next shade I'm gonna go in with is Sweet as Honey. And I'm just gonna buff, start buffing that into my crease. I like to do windshield wiper motions and then back and forth a few times and then back, or circular motion and then windshield back and forth a couple of times. So the next shade I'm gonna go in with is Brunettes Have Fun. And I'm just taking this on a brush that I got off of Amazon in the little kit. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner and then bring it up into the crease ever so slightly. Sweet as honey, and I'm just gonna reapply that just to kind of blend out those lines. So all the mattes are like kind of they're not boring in this palette, but we are gonna go ahead and scratch the idea of an all matte fall tutorial. And I think I want to take this shade right here. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Actually, I'm going to be taking sand suede suede side to side in sands of time and but first we are going to cut our crease
don't know why nothing is sticking but to this inner corner. Okay, so I have no idea why nothing's wanting to stick on the inner corner of this eye. So this one does look a little bit more sloppy. What's crazy is the eye that would not stop watering before I started filming was my right eye. And now I'm like, ugh, just gotta love stupid stuff. Okay, so towards the outer part, I am gonna go in with, what is this called again? With suede side to side. And I'm honestly want to take this other brush that I got from the Amazon um, brush kit. Ooh. And then I'm just going to put this right up towards the outer part of that cut crease and I'm just gonna dab that all the way up. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the shade Sand of Times, and I'm just gonna flip the brush around and use that other side, and we're gonna put that on the innermost part of the eye. Okay, now for the brow bone. I am gonna go in with this Wet n Wild brush and I'm gonna take the shade Can't Pink Straight, that's cute. Can't Pink Straight and highlight the brow bone. I really need to do my eyebrows. Which means Brian's probably need to be done too. So we are done with this for now. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with is this Profusion Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna do a wing. I'm not gonna say a little wing because every time I say a little wing, it ain't ever no little wing and I think this might be dried out. No wing liner because this one is all the way dried out and I don't have another drugstore eyeliner. So, you know what I could do? Take this BMX line brush and go in with the shade Little Black Dress and do like a smoky line. Good. I'm happy with it. Your second eye always comes out better than your first, at least for me. So now we can remove these little tapes. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do lashes and mascara. So the mascara I'm going in is this CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast, and then I will be taking my lashes by Kiss in Sultry, and then I will be right back. So now that lashes are on, this eye is being today, but we're not. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna go ahead and prime our face, and I'm actually gonna spray this into my hand because I meant to spray this before I started my eye makeup. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my hand, and I'm just going to pat it on my face. Oh, and this is. The glow, the glow dewy mist by Elle. Oh my God, this breakout right here really hurts. Next thing I'm gonna go in with is my ultra, my ultra, my ultra hydrating face primer. Okay, and today I will be using my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And I'm actually out of my L'Oreal one and I'm so sad about it. But I swear some days this looks darker on me than others. But when I wore it, Ryan said I didn't have a foundation line because we went to the fair and I was just looking around and there were so many girls whose makeup looked like flawless, like their base makeup looked flawless, but like looked flawless on their skin. But that foundation line, girl, was something serious. So I asked Brian, like, yo, can you tell me if I have a foundation line? Cause I'm not trying to look like everybody else out here. Don't know what, what I what I would have did at that point, but I I just needed to know. But he said I didn't have one. <laughs> Might have to reapply this left eyelash. 
just know my eyes not tripping, but I can feel like that left eyelash. I don't know what's in this, but sometimes it kind of burns my skin a little bit. Not burns, but like little stinging pains. But it doesn't really break me out or anything. Just feel those little stinging pains. Okay, so for concealer, we're going back in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Oh my God. Remember how I like to apply this because it does dry super duper fast. So I like to work one eye at a time with very little product because a little bit goes a super duper long way. Now see my little fall, fall flowers I made. Um, if you watch my vlog, I uh, that's where I made them. That's or show you how I made them and where I got everything. I think I put way more concealer on this side than my other eye. I'm gonna take this other, another brush that I got out of that um, Amazon brush kit and I'm just going to make sure that I get right in there. Okay, so now I'm only honestly going to set the tiniest bit with my Hard Candy Bake Brighten and Set Setting Powder. I'm gonna use the tiniest bit underneath my eyes. And then if you watch me, you know that I do not set my entire face when I wear this foundation. Well, I don't set it with powder. I just find it doesn't need it. So now going down to the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with the shade Sweet as Honey and we are just going to buff that along our lower lash line. Okay, next taking Brunette's Have Fun and we're gonna put this a little bit closer to our lash line. Kind of really, really smoke that out. Going back in with this CoverGirl Lash Flourish Mascara and coating those bottom lashes. Got how much I like this mascara. Eyes are officially complete. Close my nose doesn't look that great. In two ways. Next, we are going to take this number seven bronzer and I have mine in the shade Maple. And I didn't want anything that was like, and I didn't want anything that was like too, too bronzy because this is for fall, but we do want to add some more color back to our skin so that way our face doesn't just look so flat and like one color. I feel like I have a shadow on my head. This is just a really nice cool tone bronzer that actually like it, it just adds some dimension back to your face. Now I'm just going to pinch this brush and contour my nose. So now I will be taking my Wet n Wild blush in this shade Pearlescent Pink. And I don't really have like a mauve blush that's drugstore. Like I got rid of my only one. I'm taking this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Crown. Just adding very, very little. Do you want to glow so your skin can look healthy? But it's not summertime, so you don't want like a summertime glow. Okay, so next for lips, I will be taking my Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the shade Nude, lining our lips. Okay, so for our actual lip color, we're going to take this NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade French Made. So I like the tip of these because I have a very, very defined cupid's bow. So I'm able to get like very, very precise with it and actually define my cupid's bow. Ah. I am going to apply just a little bit of this, but for the most part, I'm going to be, ooh, guys, I always forget. Y'all need to remind me like, yo, don't forget to set your brows. 
going to spray with my wet and mild cucumber setting spray. Don't like the smell of that very much. And then press it in. And the only reason I go in with a little bit of the dewy um, setting spray is because I'm a very dry person. So even with this, with that foundation, it'll still look matte on me. I always have a little Superman curl. I'll see it. Always. Okay, guys, this is a completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. I like it. It's very cool tone. I don't know what it is with me and cool tones lately, but we're getting them. Okay, so I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Excuse my hair. And while you're doing that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.